Welcome to Mastermind with Maggie. Maggie Chula is a psychic channel for the Akashic Master Teachers. Together, they are experts on spiritual healing and helping you connect to your source of light, your soul. Join in a mastermind, resolve your problems, and create goals for the future. Build action steps that empower you to create your life in partnership with your soul wisdom. Problems can be on any subject, health and well-being, relationships, spiritual, emotional, or your connection to your soul. Manifesting your goals can be simple and easy. Join in the discussion, mastermind solutions to problems, create goals and action steps, then move forward to a life full of possibilities. We invite you to come with your problems and leave with a plan. Greetings, greetings, and welcome. My name is Maggie Chula, and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. The topic of this podcast is something I think most of us can relate to. It is when saying yes creates overwhelm. And I'm very happy to invite a special guest, Mary Daisley. And I want to know, are you someone who's programmed to say yes Whenever someone needs help, does this create stress through overcommitment, stress that leads to burnout with illness? While it's good to be supportive of others, we all have a need to create balance within our lives, so we have time each day to support our own goals and happiness. My special guest this week is Mary Daisley, and Mary is a psychic clairvoyant channel who is also the daughter of a mother that was diagnosed with mental illness. So Mary learned at a very early age she needed to step in and help out at home in every way so her mother would find relief and be able to function in her life as best as she could. And Mary learned to be the ultimate caretaker. While working as a professional psychic and also learning how to heal her own life, she realized there are many people who are ultimate caretakers people who put others first without even thinking about their own actions and the effect it has on their life. She created a system to help herself and her clients learn how to create balance in their life, and this system is called the value of yes. Yes management. So join me as she shares some of the simple processes she's discovered that will help you manage your yes. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number to call is 202-570-7057. So welcome, Mary. Welcome to the show. Hello, Maggie. Thank you so very much for having me. I, um, I'm quite uh, interested in this subject because just like everyone else, I bet <laughs> I think in my, there have been phases in my life I'm also that ultimate caretaker. So can you t share with us a little bit about your background? What, what was it like um, living and knowing that your, like, like your mother was, was she, um, was it difficult to live with her? Yes, it was. Um, she was a paranoid schizophrenic. So oh. she had voices. She had um uh, feelings uh, within her body, like electric shocks. She would feel, um, she would have bouts where she would have um, hysterical paralysis, which she would just kind of ooze out of a chair because her muscle system and just didn't no longer work. She wouldn't be able to move. So it, it was quite scary. I was in like eighth grade in my freshman year of high school when I was going through this or she was going through this and I was kind of reacting to everything going on. Yeah, that must have been um, it was kind of confusing too because you are um, a professional psychic. I know you're also a member of the Best American Psychics and so did that um, kind of unnerve you a little bit that she would hear voices and stuff? Do you do you hear voices? Um, not a lot. Okay. I I I I get spirit is 
works with the individual. They knew if I heard voices giving me information, I'd be going to the psychiatrist and getting antipsychotics. Yes. So I would okay. get pictures. I would get movie clips. I would get songs. I would get information. And the other really good thing that Spirit helped me with is they would wait till I would be in, we'll say, reading mode, and then they would give me more detailed information. Whereas before, I would just get feelings or ideas, and okay. I kind of went with it, and everything went well. So so as a, as a child, um, a child of a, you know, with, with your mother who's a paranoid schizophrenic, were there ways that you felt, um, how did you learn to deal with that, to maybe shield yourself from some of the energy that she must have had? You know what I mean? I, y yes, I do. Uh, what I would do is kind of put myself in like a little brick wall or a little, you know, in between. There was not a lot I could do with uh things that she would do on on different levels. There would be like um, time that I would have to stay at the kitchen table and I slept there all night or whatever was going on. I, I did find out later in my adult life that the voices were telling her I wasn't Mary, uh, I was an imposter, oh. uh, that I was, you know, and I, uh, you know, the reason she finally went and committed herself is she, she, the voices were telling her to kill me. Okay. So, so this was pretty, pretty deep stuff. And, and what I would feel is her mother, I would smell a whiff of that rose cream perfume, or I would feel my Nana Sullivan, you know, being around me. Uh, sometimes I would feel like somebody was hugging me when I would seclude myself in my room or um, or, or go outside the house just to, to, to get away from the um, the energies and whatever was going on with my mom. So Yeah, yeah. Plus um, I had school. I mean, I wasn't yeah. 24 hours, seven days a week with her. I had school five days a week and, you know, and... I was told, you know, we don't discuss what happens in the house. Um, so we just, I just put on a, a, a brave face like everything was normal. Yeah, and I think that that's something that, that really hit me because I know there are many people that you and I have both met through our profession, and, and mm -hmm. that's something that we all seem to have. It's like you put on that face, right? So things are mm -hmm. going fine. And how did this, um, so did it help you like to keep saying yes and to take care of things? Is that a way that you felt like you were managing or in control? Not so much as that. I, I, I you know, we were raised Catholic, I was raised Catholic or okay. um, Irish. So it was, you know, always take care of other people, you know, always, um, think of other people before you think of yourself. Okay. That that's how I was raised and and I find that a lot of my clients were also raised of think of others, do for others before you do for yourself. Oh, and that's yes. where the habit is the conditioning of that is is become lifelong versus something that it's, you know, it's okay to you know, put brakes on every so often. So, you know, doing for others before you take care of yourself, do unto others okay. it is, it has been a, um, it's been a great thing, but it, 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 some people have not been able to put, you know, put a, put a stop to it or not a stop to it, but put to ease it. And, but they only live that way. They don't know how right. to live any other way. How to put boundaries around it so that you, you know, Correct. take care of yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And I think think when I was kind of going through your, your well, some of the stuff I had read, I was thinking um, also when you were young, was there some 
some habits that um, develop, I would think, just just kind of having that, that feeling of stress that must have been around you. Um, I was always an anxious kid, so I just, I was more heightened because you never knew what was going to set my mom off. It almost parallels, you know, alcoholics in some ways. You just don't know what you're going to walk into. Are they having a okay. good day? Are they having a bad day? Are, you know, are are they in the throes of some sort of torment? And are they, is it going to backlash on you? Um, I spent, again, a lot of time in my room. I had a lot of music playing, um, just trying to, uh, you know, be as normal as I thought I could try to be. Yes. Yeah, I can. (laughs) I can definitely identify with that. And I know that you um, had said that this overwhelm of just, you know, being the good girl at home Mm -hmm. and then also with your upbringing, you know, put everybody else first that, Mm -hmm. you know, you kind of came to a point where you needed to learn how to heal yourself, right? Correct. Help yourself. Yeah. And so I just want to say that um, I know we are going to be going to a commercial in just a few seconds and I want to let everyone know that um, we're going to start to talk in this next segment about some of the ways that Mary learned how to help herself um, by creating a system so that she learned the value of all of these yeses, she was saying. When you constantly are giving to other people and you're in stress anyway, um, you do need to learn ways to help yourself bring that energy to back to honor who you are. And I'm really looking forward to listening to what Mary has created. So I want you to come on back after the commercial and we're going to learn the value of yes. Conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Spiritual, metaphysical, green living, psychic, alternative healing, life coaching. Do any of these or similar terms apply to your business or cause? If so, you are in a niche market with a very specific audience. Conscious Gate PR is the world's leading conscious public relations agency. With a global reach of over 4 million and growing, we offer comprehensive media campaigns to our targeted market. Learn more at ConsciousGatesPR.com. Conscious Marketing for Conscious Minds. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Own Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. Are you stuck? Have you tried over and over to stop an addiction, let go of self-sabotage? Do you have anxiety attacks or anger issues? Do you want to stop? Let go. Breathe. I can help. I have a nine-step spiritual healing path program that will lead you towards attaining balance and well-being in your life, body, and mind. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. I'm here when you are ready. We are live outside the home of Joe and Rosie Goddard, where a pretty big tickle fight broke out just minutes ago. Sources say their father instigated the laughter. Let's go inside for a comment. Apparently, they have no comment. Dads, let this be a reminder that it only takes a moment to make a moment. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Well, 
Well, welcome back. Welcome back to Mastermind with Maggie. And today we're going to learn how saying yes creates overwhelm and also a process that can help you manage your yes. So my special guest today is Mary Daisley. Welcome back, Mary. Thank you, Maggie. Uh, it's great to be here. And I just wanted to share, thank you for um, sharing some of your background, too, because I know so mm -hmm. many of us feel we're unique and no one else knows what we're thinking or feeling. And I like to help my audience members know, you know, we, we all have those doubts and fears. And this show, I'm really working to let people go. But you can go from that to having some simple, simple steps to help you manage and take back control of your life. So um, help us with this um, understanding. You, you were working, um, I don't know, when did you decide or learn this system that you're calling the value of yes? First of all, can you explain that to us, this system of yes? Because I don't think they can see it, but you spell it um, Y-E and then the S is a pound sign. It, it or, is I mean, the dollar it, sign, yes. It's the dollar sign. I meant dollar. <laughs> so, okay, yes. <laughs> um, okay. So in my career of um, reading people, I keep seeing the same habits in multitudes of people. People constantly overcommitting. Uh, most of these people are women. There are some men who overcommit, but most of them, there are women, you know, they're working outside the home, they're, you know, taking care of their family, they're, they're running their uh, elderly uh, family members to and fro, and they're just doing a huge amount of things. And, and let's face it, today's life, it's, it's like that. It's constantly, you're awake, you're running around, you're running around, you're running around, then you're trying to get food on the table, you're running around a little bit more, or you're making something or helping someone, and then maybe you go to bed exhausted. And right. then you, you start the next day just the same way. So in my time as a professional reader, I have found, uh, first off, the way I read is very... Um, I, I see things, it, 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 and so I'm constantly going into and kind of in ways grabbing onto the pictures I see. Because we are physical beings, we need physical reminders to keep us on track. Mm -hmm. If you want to make a change, whether it's to stop smoking, whether it's to um, feel less tired by not overcommitting yourself, Whatever changes you are trying to do, you need physical reminders. You need a picture to look at. You need something to hold, which will help you um, reaffirmate to yourself that this is a change you want. They say that creating a new habit takes about three weeks. Um, and as I said, you know, thinking about, okay, my yeses are valuable, is yes. all well and good, but having something, a token uh, uh, um, or something that says, yes, my yeses are valuable, yes, my time is valuable, yes, my personal energy is valuable, brings it into a different context. It brings it into our physical dimension. Mm -hmm. And I think what you um, stumbled on, well, not stumbled, but what you're sharing here also has to do with so many of us, we, we're just conditioned to say yes. And we don't really mm -hmm. think about the fact that it, it, it does um, go back to our bottom line financially. Mm hmm you know, when you're tired, when you're overwhelmed, when you're rushed. So Correct. A lot of people do not see that their personal energy, their, you know, the energy we have to uh, utilize during the, the day uh, is our personal wealth. It's not our bank account. It's our personal individual wealth. And if you think of, okay, 
I'm going to print out from my uh, my computer a picture of a pirate treasure. And, you know, this heaping gold coins and jewels and, and, and chalices, and, and that's going to be my treasure, and that's my energy. That represents my energy. I want to keep my treasure chest full. I don't want it to be empty. Mm-hmm. And then and how, what, or halfway full. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and the other thing about this um, that I was thinking of or popped into my head is that with um, so many of us awakening to the fact that we are energy beings and we mm-hmm. are affected by everyone around us, um, I think that, that you and I and, and many of us as we're growing up don't even understand how much of our personal wealth, our personal energy we spend just kind of trying to hold off other people, right? Just trying to help their them not cause us to feel um, crazy or out of control just be, when they are. Right. We're trying to appease them. We're trying to give them what we think they need or want um, so that there are, there's no emotional, you know, explosions in the household or the work dynamic or, or whatever the dynamic is. Yeah. And, and don't you think that that's um, something that, I mean, I can feel even when I just just go to uh, go shopping sometimes that the people around us are really many people are feeling like they 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 don't have any more energy to give they don't have any They're walking more around to in the days that's true yeah yeah and so i uh was thinking that this value of yes one of the great things about it is you do bring to um the conversation that you're your energy and your, I mean, your, we all have heard that your time is money, but your energy actually and what you put your focus on is also managing your money. You know, everybody's been so caught up with, you know, time management. I have to manage my time better. I have to manage, you know, uh, stay on a schedule to get everything done I need or everything that I committed to. And it really isn't about time management. It's about how you manage your yeses. And so um, the yeses, are you saying the different choices that you make? Um, so the it's almost choices. on any yep. choice or, or anything mm-hmm. that you make. Okay. Correct. I mean, it. there are some people you're going to always have to say yes to. Like if you're taking a um, your mother or mother-in-law to a doctor's appointment that she has to go regularly to, well, you know, that's something that you can, you know, yeah. you do. Maybe you can partner off with somebody else so you're not doing it every month. Maybe you can do it once every two months, um, there's, you know, there's room for negotiation. But if what I tell my, my, my clients is if you take a little disc and write the word yes on it and put that disc in your pocket, in your purse, in your desk, keep it at home. And just so that you can put, when you have a, uh, you know, somebody asks you, hey, I need two dozen cupcakes for the school, uh, the PTO um, uh, um, bake sale because our kids need to raise money for, you know, whatever it is. You know, are you overcommitted that day? Um, yeah. Is that something that you can go and maybe hold that yes and say, okay. I can maybe I can commit to you one dozen, um, but that's all I can do. I'm really overbooked that day. They don't even have to know what you're doing. Just give them an opportunity to say, I can't do what you're asking. Maybe I can do something less, or I'm really sorry, I'm already scheduled that day. So, so you're also it, saying you know, to take. Um, so you're also saying to take the time to listen to what's being asked of you, but to um, negotiate it, 
Yeah, to know that you know it's 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 reasonable to say mm -hmm. to be able to go back and say no, or I I don't mm -hmm. have time, or like you said, negotiate something else. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And there don't are, you think I mean, that, there. Are, mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, you. <laughs> Sorry, you go. Okay, so as I said, it depends on the situation. There are, you know, people who are in our lives who are like the um, the coworker who's constantly draining your energy because you're constantly listening to how terrible their life is, or maybe you're you're helping them. Maybe they're borrowing some lunch money here or there, or maybe they're not paying you back or paying you back in a timely manner, or you know, maybe they're not reciprocating by buying you lunch sometime. You know, you have to see where do you want to spend your yeses? Do you want to spend money on this person who it seems like this relationship is one-sided? Do you want to um, overcommit your time? And as I said, we, if you have a physical coin, a physical disc, something to say, do I want to spend my yes on this? And that's oh, yeah. really what you need to do. Do I want to spend my personal energy on this? And it's the physical coin or the physical disc to remind us that this is, because we're physical beings. We need a physical thing to hold or a picture to see right. to remind us we want to make these changes. Yes, and just hold that thought because once again, we're going to be going into our commercial break. Mm -hmm. And I want to let people know, be sure to come on back because this called value of yes is something that can you can take today and help you as you work through what are the choices you're making in your life. So we'll be back. Stay with us. Conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. There is no death, only a change of worlds. Chief Seattle. Deborah Livingston is an award winning intuitive psychic medium whose international services include mediumship, spiritual assessment, animal communication, and spiritual mentoring. She is a published author and a trained shaman. Deborah provides evidential messages from spirit and departed loved ones. Learn more at devlivemedium.com. That's D E B L I V medium.com. Hi, everyone. This is Shay Parker, the host of Best of the Best, which airs live right here on IOM Radio every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm super excited to bring you expert guest hosts, spiritual discussions, free psychic readings, and so much more. I can promise that you will not want to miss this one-of-a-kind, fun, yet touching, down-to-earth show. Join us every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on OTRFM. This is Shay Parker, and I can't wait to see you there. Do you want to connect to your magical child? Merge your passions and creativity, unlock your imagination, and play with the angels. Come learn the Akashic Vibration Process with me, Maggie Chula, and the master teachers of the Akasha. Together we will mastermind, exploring questions, issues, blocks, creating possibilities, then ground your creations into your current timeline. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. Create new possibilities today. My name is Lola Silvestri, and I'm going to be 95 this year. I was very independent. I fell, and I had to have meals on wheels. America, let's do lunch. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer for Meals on Wheels by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council.
Okay, welcome back to Mastermind with Maggie. And today we're talking about when saying yes creates overwhelm. And our special guest is Mary Daisley. Now, Mary, we've been talking about the value of yes, the value of the choices that you make. I think you've made some really good points about how just about everything you do is it it's not only your energy that you're sharing with others but it's also in many respects the value of your time um in, in a monetary sense so yes. um, i i wanted to um circle back a little bit here when mm-hmm. you've been um doing this is there is there a process i mean don't you have a process is this something that people can go and find. Um, I haven't even shared with anyone your website, and I'm very sorry. I I meant to do that. So could you be sure and tell people what your website is? Okay. Uh, It is www.handsontarot.vpweb.com. And I know that you and I are both proud members of the Best American Psychics, and you're also yes. the Psychic of the Month for this month. So I'm very, very happy to have you here. I, I, I'm so grateful, and I am so happy. Um, we have met at the BAP um, retreat uh, one year, and uh, you have been... I was thr- so thrilled to meet you. You have such a great energy around you, just... To, just tooting your horn for a moment. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) thank you. Thank you. And I do know that energy, a lot of people don't seem to understand um, that, like, you know, you and I grew up on kind of chaotic childhoods, and there's so Mm -hmm. many habits that get formed that are um, subconscious, in your subconscious. Um, So as these have come out and helped you, because I know that you have a very healing quality about you too. So you must have learned how to work with that and to manage it. And can you, and um, so I'm, I'm looking for ways that the audience could take and, and use these steps for themselves. What would you say that they could do to help them um, learn some of their own unconscious programs where they're just throwing away choices? Is there, steps that you could share with us today? Well, right now, what I would suggest you do is each person just take a quiet moment and say, I have value. A lot of people today, especially in today's society, don't value themselves enough. They might, to a certain degree, but really not enough. And we're not talking to become arrogant or full or, or to become an egotist. But just, I have value. My time is valuable. My energy is valuable. And if we can maybe say that mantra every day when I get, every day when you get up, I have value. My time is valuable. My energy is valuable, but you really need to mean it. Mm -hmm. And every day, get up, say those three things, okay? And add that to whatever mantra you are adding or whatever you you do normally for your, I don't want to, I don't want you to replace anything. I want you to augment and add this to whatever you do to start your day. Just like we drink our coffee or our tea or or, or, or our uh, shake in the morning. I have value. I have, you know, my time is valuable. And if we can see ourselves in that light, then we can spend, and it literally is spending, like staying on a budget or spending money. Do I want to spend money on this? Do I want to spend my energy on that? And it's about thinking, really thinking about 
your energy, your yes, your 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 time in a different context. Yeah, I I think this is. Uh... I, I love the fact that you use the word value. I have value. Mm -hmm. um, because I know that um, it does feel like, pe especially people who've just, we, we were um, encouraged to be the ultimate caretakers. So we're normally mm -hmm. people who, who have a lot of um, capabilities. You know, you know how to do things, but just because you know how to do it doesn't mean you're the only one who can. So I do really love that. I have value. That's a that's a great thing to add. Plus that they can use this with anything, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And you and, and you if, would also. If, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> and you go had ahead. also talked about. It does have, I just want to remind people that you had talked about one of the things in this process is to have something tangible that yes. can remind you of that. So you had mm -hmm. used coins or discs. Uh, right. A coin, a disc, if you need to, you don't have anything like that right now, get um, a piece of paper, tear it into little um, little dollar bill type sizes and write the word yes on it put one in your wallet are you spending you have to think of it as a currency your mm -hmm. yes um again i'm in I, I i constantly am telling clients to put you know put a piece of paper with the word yes with a dollar sign to spend put that by your mirror in your bathroom put a treasure chest Put your name on that treasure chest. Put that picture by your bathroom. As you're brushing your teeth, remind yourself. Reprogram your thought processes. My energy is a treasure. Is my treasure. Yeah, that's beautiful. Is my, my bank account. Are you withdrawn? You know? Right. So it, right. Again, thinking of it as parallel to a currency, your bank account, a treasure check. Yes, because so I mean, so many of us, when we think about abundance, we're usually taught or we're teaching, you know, that that has to do with seeing yourself having something and, you know, you're there right now. What I like about this method is it's also helping us to remember that every day, every day, you, you only have so much time, so your time mm -hmm. does become of value. And to start to pay attention to what would be the cost of that yes? Because not all yeses <laughs> are of equal value, right? Correct. That's very, very correct. Um, you know, a, a, a situation where, again, you're taking your elderly person in your family uh, to a doctor's appointment or an oncology appointment or something that's pretty important. Well, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you can swap off with people so that you're not doing it every single time. Maybe someone else can give, put in a little time and that way you have a little more time for yourself. You're not skirting the issue. You're not walking away from them. You're just not being the sole person who handles this. Right, because we've both seen that it's really the person who's doing the caretaking that mm -hmm. takes a tremendous amount of stress. And, and they need to also ha be valued. They need to Correct. understand that that is important. Although I do know that in this, in this day and age, um, there just seems to be so many things we feel we have to do. Is there a um, is there a way that you use to prioritize um, what's going on? That's a great question. Okay, um, what I what I would do is. In that situation, I, I kind of see what I need to get done. Okay, well, I get up and I'm 
going to be on this radio show, and that's a priority for me. And then I'm going to be going to the cat shelter and, and doing some things there, and that's a priority for me. That's that's something that will feed and nourish me as well as help um, the people at the shelter as well as the animals there. Um, but it's like for other people, it could be I have to get up and make sure the kids are clothed and getting ready for school and have their breakfast and their books and their bags all, all ready uh, off to the bus. And then I need to go to work. Um, I, 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 every day is going to be slightly different because, let's face it, there's doctor's appointments. There's other things we need to do. As far as prioritizing the daily tasks that are at hand, what do you have to do every day? It's it's kind of like, again, you know, getting up, showering. It, it, right. it, it's, it, it's, it's the everyday life and the everyday cycle. What you add to it, you have control over. Right. It's those little things that you're thinking of, or not little even. They're not even little, but above and beyond right. your what you've committed to today. And mm -hmm. um, and this is crazy because I know these hours just fly by, but we're about to head into our last commercial. So I want you to think about this, those of you in the audience and also you, Mary. Now, how are we going to, we want to make sure that we not only add and understand the value of our yes, but working on those, how do we give ourselves value? Show that we're a priority in our lives. And I know that you have some thoughts on that, so I want you to share that with us when we come back. How can we show we have value to ourselves, or we are of value to ourselves? So come on back, and we're going to wrap all this up. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Grab a cup of tea or a glass of wine and tune in for Inspired Conversations with publisher Linda Joy on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Linda creates sacred space for leading female luminaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. A soulful venue where guests openly share the fears and obstacles they've overcome, wisdom and lessons learned, and the personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired conversations to empower you on your path to authentic, soulful living. Have you ever wondered, what is the purpose of life? How can I do more, have more, be more? Do you want to talk to your angels, your higher wisdom? Have you tried? But here you are. I invite you to come take a class in the Akashic Vibration process. Learn the language of your soul. Enhance your soul connection. Expand your soul vibration. Contact me. Go to MaggieChula.com and learn more. Let me help you interpret the language of your soul. Psst. 
It's me, your heart. High blood pressure is serious, and if you think I'm just gonna keep ticking away, you're wrong. I can quit whenever I want, but I like my job. Just treat me better. Maybe we can do some exercise on occasion? After all, we're in this together. Don't let your heart quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Okay, welcome back to Mastermind with Maggie. And today we're talking about when yes creates overwhelm and how to learn the value of yes. And I just want to take this time to remind everyone that on this show, we, we are looking for people who are inspirational and can help us move from stuck to unstuck. So if you know someone that you would like to hear from, please give me a call, send me a message. Maggie at MaggieChula.com. And my next week's guest is Dawn Morningstar, who's written a book called From v Vulnerable to Venerable. And she is here to talk about how all women are worthy of respect. So I think that that would be a very timely message. <laughs> um, and Mary is here with us today. She's a psychic clairvoyant channel. And she was also is, I'm sorry, your mother is probably still alive. Also the daughter of a mother who had, uh, what did you say? Schizophrenic? Um, she was a paranoid schizophrenic para and she paranoid. has passed. Oh, she has. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, but that one of the things that's the most inspirational, I think of your message is that even though you, you know, clearly um, had some difficulties in your life, in your home life, you still learned how to work with your natural um, psychic senses and learn how to work with your angels and spirits to help you function. And now you go out and you help others through um, mm -hmm. working with uh, the tarot. Uh, and, and I know you yes. do other things, but your website is handsontarot.vpweb.com. Uh, yes. Correct. So in the system that you created, the value of yes, you've been sharing with us how it does help for people to, um, in the morning, make sure that they are sharing with their mind that they do have value. Correct. Uh, is there something that you can share with us to kind of ha help wrap up your um, message and share inspiration for others? You have been very inspiring, but I mean, we we have a little time. I just want to make sure that we get all of the points out that you want to make sure you share. Okay. The biggest thing I would, uh, if you could take away that you have value, your time is valuable, and your personal energy is valuable, that we are human beings, that we are physical beings, and we need physical trigger reminders to whether we are consciously, constantly seeing them, whether we're holding them in our hands, that we are seeing our yeses, our commitments, as we're spending our energy. If we can tweak the way we think, and that's basically it, just not huge changes, but just tweaking a little bit here and a little bit there, the way we think about things. You know, if somebody comes to me and says, you know, I really could use you to do this and da-da-da, whatever it is, and if I'm already scheduled that day, I'm like, I'm very sorry I'm already scheduled. Is there another day I can help you? Um, right. Or that, you know, take control of, yes, this might be something I do want to spend my time on. I can't do it that day. I'm not going to overextend myself to um, make it fit in my day. I'm just going to see if I can do it another day. Or if it's something you don't want to do, they don't need to know that. 
Right. It's right. not necessarily. It's it's not it's not lying. Just saying, you know what? I'm really sorry. I, I I just can't fit you in that day. I'm over. I'm already overextended. They don't. And then stop right, right there. They don't need an explanation. We well, feel. Right. We feel that we always have to give somebody a good reason why we can't do something. Right, and you're also sharing that it is okay to stop, take a breath, and say, I can't do that today. You don't have mm -hmm. to give people excuses or reasons. You have the, you are showing value to yourself by Correct. being able to know you need time in your day uh, to meditate, to um, have do something fun, and that you have the value, you are valuable. I, I mm -hmm. just think that's such a, a powerful message. So and I, I do mean, wanna... there's an old there's yep. an old saying, sorry, that an empty pot can give nothing. Oh, I haven't heard that, but yeah, an empty pot can give yeah. nothing. Yeah. So, so we need if to. You're, it, if you have nothing to, if you have nothing left in yourself you can give nothing you can't take care of people who you want to take care of if you have nothing left right yes and i just want to also um uh, share with people that along with that thought cuz that's that's a, a really good thought um i wanted to share that i'm going to start something new in november and I'm calling it Channeling Source to Soothe Your Soul. I'm creating this podcast. It's going to be 9 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays, the first and third Wednesdays of the month. And it's going to be family friendly. I think so many of us feel that when we're working with spirit, when we're working on our own spiritual path, um, it's ours. It's ours. And we don't like to share it. It's that one-on-one -on -one connection, but I want to open this up to help people see that by you working with your own soul and your own source, you are helping everyone in your life. And this new hour format that I've come up with or that the masters have come up with have shared with me that if you come and you work with us, this is going to help you establish clear boundaries and open up new lines of communications. Because I know, Mary, you and I have noticed that when we were growing up, um, it was important for us to be able to take our own time and go into our own space. And that's how we cleared our energy. And that works. That absolutely, I want everyone to hear that that is very good. That's very helpful. Um, and now the masters are asking us to go. But it's also helpful to realize that your children are having stress. Just can you imagine going to school every day and you have to learn things or maybe um, you're taking religious classes like Catholicism, um, you know, also or whatever it is that you're doing. We, it's not just the parents that are overstressed. It can also be their other family members. So um, mm -hmm. this value of yes works no matter how old you are or how young you are. It's always good mm -hmm. to be able to help you know the value of yourself. And I, I love the process that you said. First is that this is something that you can use with, um, with anything else that you do. It augments things. And that you need something tangible. It helps people to have something to hold on to, to remind them of that yes. So it's true. Is, and um, and if people um, are seeking help from you, Mary, how can so they would they go to their website? Do you have like a Facebook page? Is there I do have way? a Facebook page. Yes, um, they can. Um, Send me questions um, on Facebook. I'm Mary Daisley, the Psychic Navigator. Uh, they can put on their question, and I will be happy to give them what, or they can message me through Facebook. I'll be happy to help them as best I can. Yes, and thank you so much for being on the show, because I do think that's a, 
it's very important for people to see that no matter what's going on in your life right now, you do have skills. There are connections that you have, and there's always hope. There's always inspiration. So even if you're, um, you're living with somebody or your parent or other family members have mental illness, it still can help them when you connect to your own source of light and you get very clear in your boundaries because we are all connected. So as we're working through these processes and we're out in the world, just remember that you do have value. And I want to thank you so much, Mary, because many people, many people need this, um, this information. You have value. Your time is money. And it's okay for you to say, I can't do that today without explanations, because that's the other point that you made. You don't have to give people reasons why. It's important for you to start to say yes to yourself. Yes to me. I need time. I am of value. And so I thank all of you for listening, and I hope that you do tune in and find out for yourself what is your value. You have it. So until the next time, Say yes to your life because you're worth it. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.